getting your boots laced up. Ready, ready for this interview? I'm ready for this. You know, uh, my friend, last time we chatted, we talked about your recent visit to Seattle where you performed on stage, and you couldn't remember the name of the theater. Yes. And I threw out the Paramount. Uh -huh. And you, you got a little upset because you hold the Paramount in such high regard. Right. And you said, oh, great, I'm not good enough for the Paramount. Mm -hmm. But I told you you were. Right. So I wanted to bring along something very formal for you. a way to thank you for your appreciation sort of thing. We would like to formally invite you to visit the stage for the next week. You know, wish I made it to the Paramount, everybody. You have made it to the Paramount. You've been invited to be on the stage. Hmm? Do you want to hug it out now or do you want to hug it out later? I don't want to, I don't want to get emotional on camera. <laughs> I hope you'll respect I'll res that. I'll respect that. I'll respect that. But I made it to the Paramount. You made it to the Paramount. Thank you. La La Land, great. Paramount, fantastic. Thank you for making that happen. I'm, it was my pleasure, honestly. I owe you. Okay. Um, let's talk about La La Land. Okay. Did you have any idea when you got this screenplay that it was going to be what it's becoming? Well, it didn't have such a fancy cover on it when <laughs> I read it. <laughs> Yours is straight from Kinko's, right? <laughs> um, when I first met with Damien, I met him not about this film, but just it was a general meeting. Damien, the director. And he was He's a very infectious person who has a lot of passion for film and making films that, in his words, you don't want to see on your iPhone, that yeah. you want to go to the theater to see. You so, have to with this one. Well, you have to with this. I think when I finally read the script months later, I realized that I thought he really, he had a chance at making the kind of film he was talking about. So uh, when I read the script, it was informed by his his passion and the combination of those things made me feel uh, optimistic. Some of the dialogue that Sebastian gets to have with Mia is just, it's so sharp and quick. I mean, you had to have looked at it and just went, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I, you know, uh, all, you know, the dialogue, the, uh, the music is mm -hmm. really special. Um, I heard the music before I even read the script as well. Damien mm -hmm. sent me one of the songs and, uh, um, it's just there's there's a lot of a uh, lot of great work in it. Uh, the big theme of dreamers and artists and artists are entrepreneurs. You're an entrepreneur. Um, how do you? What is it that keeps you going to push through and keep creating and and find the next thing that that for, fulfills your passion? Other than money. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's good. That's off the table. Um, hmm. What keeps me going? You know, I think. Uh, Making movies is a pretty great job if you can get it. And it's it's great because as much as you feel like you are learning about it and you can get better, it's still, you can never obviously perfect it. So uh, it keeps you, um, you know, every time is a different combination of people and story and it's a collaboration every time. And uh, so it's, it's 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 familiar enough that you feel like you can kind of progress, but it's also different enough every time to keep it interesting. Awesome. Congratulations, and we'll see you at the Paramount. Huh? Is it gonna go is it gonna be on your mantle? I told you I'm not gonna get I'm emotional gonna get on camera. As soon as that red light's off. I know.